Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I am so happy to be back filming again. I haven't filmed a video in quite a while. A lot of the videos that you've been seeing recently were pre-filmed. So it has been probably two weeks since I last sat down and filmed. Um, if you guys don't want to listen to this part, you can skip right through it, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am sorry if my schedule has been off recently, which it has. I normally post videos Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and I've just been crazy busy lately. I recently went back to work. Um, July 8th was my birthday. My fiancé and I got a dog, and... I am actually getting a different job now, so I'll be starting a new job. Today, the dog has to go to the vet, and I'm still doing school, so with all of that combined, I have been crazy busy, so I apologize that my videos haven't been as consistent as usual. Also, please forgive if I don't seem as chipper in this video. I'm not feeling very well at the moment, but I really wanted to film some videos for you guys, so. I hope you guys enjoy this one. So for today's video, I wanted to give you guys sort of a rundown on the Bath & Body Works wallflowers. I have a couple of the actual wallflowers that you plug into the wall, and then I have several different scents in the wallflower refills, so let's do this thing. So the first wallflower that I have is this one right here. This is one of their winter themed ones. It has just a very pretty sparkly snowflake. I got this as a gift from my fiance's sister for uh, Christmas, so I love this one. And then I also have this one right here, which I got from one of my best friends, Christine. Unfortunately, this one broke, which I am really sad about. This is what it's supposed to look like. But this part keeps breaking off. I've already tried to glue it back together and it just keeps coming apart. But at least it still looks cute without the little stem on the bottom, but it's just a cute little flower. Flower, why did I say it like that? Flower. So yeah, those are the two that I have. I know there is another one that I really, really want, and I see it all the time at the store. It's like a very pretty glittery blue fish, and I don't know if I'm gonna get that one, but I would like to. So those are the ones that I have. What you do with these is Obviously you have the pretty little decoration, whatever kind you want to get. And then on the back of them they have the plug that you plug into the wall, your outlet, wherever you want to put it. And you don't have to press any buttons or anything. All you do is just plug it into the wall and it warms up the scent that you put into it. So I'm going to demonstrate with one of the refills that I have. So this is what a refill looks like. It's kind of like a Excuse me, it's kind of like a teardrop shape. And then what you do is you put it into your wallflower like this. You just kind of like screw it in. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. He's sitting right there. Um, but this is how you use it. You just screw it in like this. And when you plug it into the wall, it kind of heats up the little, kind of like a cotton stem thing that comes out the top. I'm sure you guys have seen them in like the generic ones like Glade or whatever you get from Walmart. You just plug it in, it warms it up, and it makes the whole room smell like whatever scent you have. So, quickly, I'm just going to give you a little review of what I think of these. I like these because you don't have to use any kind of flame. However, I will say that that's also a con because you have to plug them into the wall, and so that's obviously using up electricity. Um, I also think that the wallflowers themselves are very strong, so when you get a candle, it's kind of strong in a good way in that it fills up a room, but with these, they are almost, or at least some of them, can be so strong that they almost give you a headache. So if I had any recommendation to you guys, it would be to pick scents that you think are kind of like a softer scent and then get those ones in the wallflower refills because those ones are going to be like twice as strong when you put them in these so just keep that in mind so that is how you work the wallflower refills now I'm going to show you guys the scents that I have 
So the first ever Wallflower refills that I got were also from Christine, who got me the my this is actually my first Wallflower. So thank you so much, Christine. I love you. But um, this is the ones that she got for me. This is in the scent Winter Candy Apple. This is my all-time favorite Christmas scent from Bath & Body Works, so she got me the two-pack of those. So Winter Candy Apple is this really pretty red color. You guys have probably smelled it before. It's one of their classic Christmas scents. It's just kind of sweet and fruity, and it just reminds me of Christmas time every time I smell it. So this is one of my favorite scents. Another scent that I have is Salted Caramel. This one smells just like it sounds. It's very sweet and it's got a hint of that salty scent, so it kind of smells like coffee. This one is in the scent Fresh Cut Lilacs. This one smells very floral. I got this at the semi-annual sale, so you guys may have seen that in my semi-annual sale video. This is one of the scents that I find is too strong for me. If you wanted to use this one, I would suggest putting it in the biggest room in your house. I don't think you would want to put this in like one of your powder rooms, like a very small confined room because it will get really strong really fast. This next one is in the scent Fresh Sparkling Snow. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents as well. If you guys have seen my body cream versus body lotion video, this is the scent that I use to demonstrate the difference between those. I love this one for Christmas. It's a very nice fruity and sweet scent. This one is in the scent Sundress. This is a very nice light summery scent. I also have the Three Wick Candle in this and I love it. This one is in the scent Honolulu Sun. This is one of their more recent summer scents. I love this scent. It's a very light summery scent. You get kind of that coconutty tropical scent with this, but it's not so strong that it smells like flowers. It's just a very nice basic summer scent. Flannel is the next one that I have. If you guys have se scented, smelled this one before, it smells like a masculine cologne scent. I love this scent for the fall. It's one of my fiance's favorite scents. And it is a favorite among guys, so this would be a good one if you were trying to find a scent that your husband or your brother or whoever would like. So to be honest, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering which one this is because I have this tag for sparkling icicles, but I'm pretty sure that I used this one already in the winter time, so I don't think this one is sparkling icicles, but it smells very wintry, and I know that the other one that I have is a fall scent, so anyways, I'm just going to tell you guys which ones that I have, and hopefully this is the one that I will be talking about. So. I have Sparkling Icicles, which is a wintry scent. It says it smells like moss, bergamot, and citrus, so that is a very good light winter scent. And then the last one that I have is called Thankful. It is one of those fall scents. I personally do not like that scent. Um, it is one of my fiance's favorite, but in my personal opinion, I don't like the way that it smells, at least not in the wallflower. It is just too strong. I just don't like it. But in the candle form, it smells good. But it's got kind of that, what is it, clove scent. I hate cloves, so I do not like the thankful one. But that is one for fall if you guys are interested in a fall scent like that. So those are all of the wallflower refills that I have and the actual wallflowers that I have. If you ask me, I think the wallflowers are a great option for those of you who may not like the three wick candles or the regular candles. I don't know why you wouldn't, but it's another fun option to use scents for your home. Personally, it isn't my favorite. I do prefer the three wick candles over the wallflowers. And some of the cons to these is that they're a little bit too strong in my opinion. And also, if you don't screw the caps on really well, they can get really messy in storage. Some of the oils will seek out, seek, seep out. So, um, Duke is making a bunch of noise. But, um, so those are the cons in my opinion. They are good for those of you who like a really strong scent that fills the room though. So, 
that is it for this video, you guys. Like it if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I upload a new video. I put up new ones every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, so be on the lookout for those. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. I don't understand. Wait. So, to be honest, I'm having a little bit of trouble. If you ask me, I think that this is a very cool, innovative idea. Like I said...